right, guys, final workout of your partner competition, the Jack and Tan Classic. Um, it's called Still Holding. You are going to be working simultaneously with your partner to complete some work. Now, the movements we have, you're going to start with a row. I'm not going to demonstrate that because you guys can row however you want. Um, so we'll start with a kettlebell snatch. We're going to alternate arms, and we're going to do it maybe a little differently than you're used to. So you've got to start from the ground, go overhead in one movement, and as I come back down, I've got to touch the ground again. Okay? So a lot of times we do snatches from the legs, but for this competition, it's got to touch the ground. From there, I don't care how it gets overhead. I don't care how it gets back, gets back down to the ground. You can go to the shoulder and overhead if you'd like. It's just going to take you more time. All right? So that's the first movement. Secondly, we have everybody's favorite thrusters. All right? Uh, rules on this movement, again, hips need to go below the knees, just like any other squat. I need to show walk out overhead with the head through the, through the arms, all right? So you can squat clean your first rep, that's fine. There's that head through. Pull-ups. Pull-ups, that's right. There will be a box, ladies, to help you get up on the bar, so don't worry too much about that. Now, any pull-up is going to be accepted. Butterfly, standard tip, strict pull-up. We just need to see the chin over the bar, all right? And we need to see full walk out at the bottom. You can mix grip if you'd like. Or you can go fully underhanded. So, it's that standard kip. All right. Or you can butterfly. All right. Or if you really want, strike pull up. All right. Let's see. For you scaled athlete, we have a box jump. All right. There won't be any pull ups. So, with that box jump, I need to see you jump two feet. Land two feet and open those hips on the box. You can step down, you can jump down, however you choose. Just make sure you hit this position on the box. All right? Now, we also have some static holds in this movement, or in this workout. One of which, sorry, over here, is going to be the front rack position. Right here. You will hold this while your partner does work. You can go hands behind the head, hands out, hands over. It's just got to be resting on those shoulders. And I'll give you a hint. You guys are going to have to strip the bars after that front rack hold. Next, you'll go overhead. So you'll be using the same bar. And you'll hold a locked out overhead position. If your head's back here, that's fine. If your arm's a little bent, that's fine. Just gonna make it harder for you, but it has to be overhead. Kettlebell goblet hold, this one's the easiest. You've got to hold the handles at some part. You can't be underneath. Alright, and it's gotta be in front of your chest. And finally, you have a hang from the pull-up arm. You can hang whatever grip you like. Underhanded. Overhanded, mixed grip, you can move, whatever you want to do, you can be on tension. That wouldn't be smart, but totally up to you again, as long as you're hanging from that pull-up bar. Leslie, am I missing anything? Nope. Alright, Leslie says nope, that's all we have for you. Remember, check the website for all the details to these workouts.